Welcome back. Our wedding week continues here on the Fox 61 Morning News. Yeah, Lauren Zenzi is here with us in the studio. She's catching up with a couple we all met last year right when the pandemic hit. This is such a cool story, a story that they didn't realize would impact them so much. Now, back on March 15th, 2020, a day Alex and Jeanette Meadows had been patiently awaiting for, the day that they were supposed to tie the knot, until the news broke about the COVID-19 pandemic. Stay out of groups, stay out of crowds, stay home if you can. On the 15th, that night at midnight, I believe the state of Connecticut shut everything down. It was like no more gatherings for 10 or more. So many details were changing on the couple just days leading up to their wedding. As the days were coming closer, it was about three days out. We had about 30 people cancel. So that was a lot, yeah. like right beforehand. Luckily, in just the nick of time, they were able to have their dream wedding with little to no issues. We brought you Alex and Shanette's story last year on Fox 61 News. While taking photos outside the society room in Hartford, a moment happened they never realized would impact them so much. We were in, in, the, in the street taking photographs. I think it was Shanette was doing like some solo shots. I was standing off. I was holding the flowers. And then, of course, there was cars backed up waiting for us to get our shots in. And they were being gracious and patient with us. All of a sudden, this car stops, pulls up a little close, opens the door. And I'm like holding the flowers like, hey, what's going on? Here? Is, he, is he mad? Is he upset? Yeah. We... Am I going to have to get in a fight on my wedding day to protect my bride here? What's, what's going on? So he gets out. He goes to the trunk. And, I, you know, oh, me, yeah. I'm thinking... Is this good or bad? Really? Yeah. Like, why, why is he popping the trunk here in the middle of the road while we're taking wedding photographs? But he comes out with a pack of toilet paper and comes and says, hey, I want to give this to you. <laughs> the toilet paper shortage rocked the United States for months on end. I was getting images from friends and family of the stores here in California at the time. Empty. And every store was empty. And so... Over a year later, we had a chance to check back in with the couple about their whirlwind of an experience. The last possible time and date we could actually get married, we got married and then the day of provision came, it was like a smile from heaven and the toilet paper was named Angel Soft. So it was like, ah, all we were missing was like the, the light from the cloud shining down, letting, know, letting us know that everything was gonna be okay. And little did they know, we'd be entering a year-long global pandemic, stripping people down to the bare minimum of one of the most important daily necessities. Little did we know what kind of hot commodity it would have turned out to be at the end. I mean, we could have eBayed that same role. You know, <laughs> eBay was selling the same role for like 800 bucks yeah, at like the end of time. It was It was crazy. <laughs> I don't want to say the pandemic was a good thing, but it did allow us it allowed our families and those that were close to us to really focus on what was most important. Such a great story. Alex and Jeanette said that they felt so lucky that they were able to celebrate their big day with almost no day of issues. Unlike so many other couples over the past year, they say that receiving the angel saw from a complete stranger was truly just an amazing experience and something that they will never forget. Tim and Erica, like they said, they could have sold that pack on eBay for like $900. Yeah. That would have, <laughs> yeah, right. they would have been so rich after that. <laughs> that. Who would have thought that toilet paper would be the best wedding gift? <laughs> Just go figure. Well, that's the most 2020 thing. Out of I love that he said that he got nervous when the guy went to his trunk. He's like, I, I might have to get in a fight, but you know, well, that's natural reaction. I think, you know, <laughs> yeah. it all and ended up being good. pops with toilet paper. <laughs> go figure. All right, Lauren, thank you for that great story. Remember